I call it the poor man's land cruiser because the old Toyota Astro Australia are so sick. They have like uh, these trucks just rambling through the bush. And then the end of the ad's like, the only way you're getting through the bush uh, and not one of these is in one of these. And there's like a land cruiser in the background. I'm Nate Duffy. This is my 1984 Toyota pickup truck, Clifford. And we're out here on the Oregon coast, central Oregon coast, surfing, hanging out, taking in the scenery. I think the like vehicle side of things was just like a, um, I don't know, it was like a, it was a necessity. It was a piece of equipment I had to acquire to like pursue snowboarding, surfing, and camping kind of all just like bundled into that. Like how long you can stay out doing those things. Multiple build outs and then it was just kind of always evolving to give me more time on the road or where my you know, the final destination was, whether it was the mountain or the coast. And how do I build my truck or my vehicle out to, to uh, support me and those adventures? It was a logger's truck in Salem, and the guy I bought it from was, uh, it was his son actually, but he bought the original owner bought it brand new in 1984 and it basically just spent its whole life blogging in the uh, southern Cascadia area um, out in San Diego, back and forth between like Salem and that area which is pretty cool because now I use it for a different kind of logging but um, it turned into a surf truck from a logging truck and I found it on a farm for what was a lot of money to me back in the day like a couple grand. Having, uh, I mean, the, like the vehicle lifestyle situation that kind of just like encompassed eventually, like my need to adventure. Uh, if I was, if I'm not able to like go out and get my surfing in, or you know, be outside in general, whether it's like activity related or not, to an action sport or or um, snowboarding or any of these other things, if it's just like getting out of the metro area and the town, my mental health would be poor. <laughs> in full transparency so it's like this has always been growing up in the woods and playing in the woods and being a you know pacific northwest native basically um or yeah i mean i lived here my entire life uh if i'm not able to go outside it's bad for me and there's where i live there's like you know obviously portland has its like nature uh, city escapes but it's not the same as being able to like you know hit the road hour in any direction and be where you want to play and um you know, even just to be pensive and like stare at the ocean or chill, be outside, be away from the noise and hustle and bustle. This has had a positive impact on me as having like a, you know, this trucks especially has taught me a lot about how to work on vehicles. I'm not like mechanically inclined, but I have been put in situations where I have to like figure shit out. And those are always fun challenges for like kinesthetic people, I think. And more so, uh, it's opened me up to meeting a lot of sick people like life friends that I've met through these pursuits over time, um, taking me to places that even just in the backyard, like I still, when I, driving this or the other truck out here, find like the you know random locales I've never seen before or I've driven by a million times. Just like when you finally like your interest has peaked enough to like pull over on the side of the road and you're like, oh, I've never stopped here. How have I never stopped here? Soak it in. And then, you know, when I'm back at the desk to do the work week, it's like those little, micro adventures and like the even the repetitive stuff like the like coming out here every single weekend to the same beach spot it fills the tank up and i'm like you know happy satisfied person so positive impact for sure you know i think for the most part that uh if you want to get out and experience it and it's just like traveling and the being on the road aspect of it and living in your rig there's like some basic things that you can find on the internet about how to do it safely and then uh you know, put your bucket list together of destinations you want to go. Kind of build your your rig and your um, you know adventure itinerary around what you want to accomplish personally. Like that's different for everybody, but like the main thing is really keep it simple. Like I'm, I think you, these folks, will, you, everyone at the beginning eventually ends up to like finding something simpler after going through the whole mess. It's like the circle of life that you have to go through with rig stuff, but. Uh, it really is like the 
best surfboard is the one you have or the best truck is the one you have like you could do this all in a honda civic or you know i'm not telling you to go drive a, a honda through moab or something if you really want to be like that off-road like you should probably figure out how to drive and also how to get like a rig that works for that kind of crazy crazy uh, like extreme off-road sort of stuff but um you know I know there's a difference between being a crawler and being like an adventurer on the road, but it's truly like, you know, your grandparents give you a Highlander or something, like you don't need to figure out how to get like a crazy four by four lifted truck situation. Like what you have is kind of like your best opportunity and also like test it out. You have like time, especially if you're younger and starting to get into this or you're older and just trying to figure it out as well. Whatever you got is just as functional. That's the impact I'd like to leave, is just like, go. Do it with what you got and let it change over time and be open to it. Be open to change, be open to sh stuff breaking, be open to, the, you know, pulling off on the side of the road randomly. It, you know, I was, it was definitely like a focus point of like, hey, I want, I want to modify this truck, especially to be capable off-road. Like, let's talk tires, let's talk wheels, let's talk suspension, like, what can I do to this thing? And then, you know, that kind of led me into the, to the scene in ways, I guess, of like, um, functional four-wheel drives and I met a lot of cool people through it that have led to a lot of cool trips and a lot of good experiences and a lot of good opportunities. I want to be like if any of you are interested on if and when this thing breaks down follow me on Instagram at shopnate. I only post photos of this truck because it's the only thing the algorithm engages with. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you're interested in just talking rigs or like have questions about it as you're stepping off into the world of uh, 4x4s and wandering, uh, feel free to hit me up. Uh, my DMs are always open to people. I'm not a master by any means or necessarily know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm always here to help those folks who are like just kind of fledging into it. So the least I could do is pass down some of my insights so maybe you can avoid some of the mistakes that I've made and improve upon some of the things I've done okay. so. Don't be a stranger at Chopnate.